Hi everyone, today we'll be going over the Bitcoin stock to flow model and how you can use this tool to improve your Bitcoin investing and analysis. This chart as well as many others are all freely available on lookintobitcoin.com, your number one source for Bitcoin information. If you haven't already, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to ensure you're receiving all of our content as soon as it's released. So what is the Bitcoin stock to flow model? Well, it is trying to look at the relative scarcity of Bitcoin and how that relates to its underlying price. If you weren't already aware, there's a fixed supply of Bitcoin of 21 million. So there will never be more than 21 million Bitcoin in existence. However, our current circulating supply is a little bit lower than this. It's currently sitting at around 19 million, but it is increasing every block, which is about every 10 minutes, every day, every week, every year. The supply is slightly increasing of the total circulating Bitcoin. However, as Bitcoin grows, as Bitcoin matures, and as it reaches these what are called halving cycles or halvening cycles, if you prefer, the actual inflationary rate of Bitcoin is actually halved at every one of these halving events. So if you look to this chart here, we can see these dotted lines. These come about every four years and these signify when the rate of inflation for Bitcoin is going to half. So if we look as to where we currently are, we're currently about two years after our previous halving event and about two years before our next halving event. We're about halfway through one of these halving cycles. So right now we have another couple years of Bitcoin supply increasing, at which point in two years time, this inflation rate will cut in half. We'll only be able to receive about 150,000 new Bitcoins every year from that moment and so forth, decreasing the inflation rate every four years until all 21 million Bitcoins, the total max supply cap are in circulation. So how does this circulating supply and inflationary rate of Bitcoin relate to its price? Well, this is where the stock to flow model comes in and tries to give us this forecasting tool to give us a general idea of what we can expect Bitcoin price to do when taking into account its relative scarcity. So similarly to gold and silver and other commodities and precious metals, the more scarce and the more desirable the asset is, the higher the price tends to be. This is simple supply and demand economics and the same can be applied to Bitcoin as with this model. So the Bitcoin stock to flow model is trying to find a fair value price of Bitcoin based on its current circulating supply and its influx of new supply coming into the network. So the actual stock in the name stock to flow that is based on the current circulating supply of Bitcoin and the flow is the yearly increase of the supplies of new Bitcoin. So to get to the stock to flow value, we just divide the current circulating supply by the flow, which is the new yearly increase in supply to get the stock to flow figure. So as we said before, due to the halvening cycles of Bitcoin every four years, this stock to flow value actually increases fairly substantially. And what we can do is extrapolate this stock to flow value and see how that has related to price in Bitcoin's history and use that data to predict or forecast what may happen in the future as inflation rates continue to decrease. So if we just look to the previous two halving cycles, we can see the relationship between the Bitcoin price, which is this line here, and the actual underlying model price that the stock to flow is predicting is actually a fairly close relationship. We have periods where we're slightly beneath this fair value line and periods where we are extended above this fair value line. So some investors may look at this chart and say, when periods of price being beneath this model price, this stock to flow predicted price for Bitcoin, when taking into account its relative scarcity, their way are potentially undervalued and this may be a good time for strategic investors to accumulate more Bitcoin. And the same can be true for the opposite. Once we are significantly above this model price, this fair value line, we could say that we are potentially overbought, that price is potentially too high and price may be overextended compared to its fair value line. So we can see right now that, that the model price is actually predicting a price of around $70,000. This model price is actually a 365 day average of the stock to flow model value. This is just to allow about a year after each halving cycle for the model price to actually increase at a steady rate so miners, retail investors can all account for the new decreased inflationary rate of Bitcoin. Within this chart too, we also have these overlaid colored dots on the Bitcoin price, which give us an indication of how close we are to the next halving event. So you can see here we have these blue going into deep purple colors and then once we actually get the halvening event and inflation is cut by 50 percent we reset back to red and as you can see on the scale here this gives the current days until the next halvening but just overlaid nicely with a colored gradient 
So how can you use this tool to help improve your Bitcoin investing and analysis? Well, I think the most handy feature of this chart is this deviation value we can see down here. Now, what this is doing is taking the relation of the stock to flow model value and the actual underlying price of Bitcoin and plotting it so we can see periods of when Bitcoin's price is above the fair value line and when Bitcoin's price is beneath the value line. So we can see these green areas here are where people may consider Bitcoin to be at a discount and undervalued compared to the model value. And these red periods here are when Bitcoin's price has far exceeded the model price and may potentially be overextended to the upside. So with this metric, we can actually see we're currently substantially beneath the model value of Bitcoin. But this isn't anything out of the ordinary. There's been multiple instances in the past on multiple occasions where we've reached this same variance to the downside, if not reached even lower levels of the variance. So using this data, strategic investors may see these areas down here as great times to accumulate. And once we get above this model variance line here where we've reached the fair value and start to exceed this value and we get this red line this may be a good time for the strategic investor to consider cutting some of their positions short locking in some profits and waiting until we get the next discounted period to pick up even more so to summarize the stock to flow model treats bitcoin as being comparable to commodities and precious metals such as gold and silver due to their long-term value retention as a result of their relative scarcity so as more gold and more silver is mined, the actual available supply that is still left for us to actually accumulate decreases as there is only a limited supply of these metals that can never be mined and that can never be refined and used. And Bitcoin is similar in that sense in that every four years we actually have a reduced supply of Bitcoins that are available and we do have a hard cap of 21 million Bitcoin that the circulating supply will never surpass. All in all, this makes Bitcoin the first digitally scarce asset and this is where some people consider Bitcoin to have value as it is a desirable asset that cannot be inflated beyond its hard cap. So the formula for stock to flow is the total supply or the stock divided by the yearly supply increase, which is the flow. And the colored dots on the chart show the number of days until the next Bitcoin halving event, where the reward for mining new blocks is halved. If you liked this video, then visit lookintobitcoin.com. We know that Bitcoin data analytics can be complicated, but we want to help you understand the key principles so you can optimize your Bitcoin investing. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to learn about all our other charts and gain even more insights. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.